وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت الله if we look at the concept of توحيد توحيد الألوهية the توحيد also known as توحيد الإبادة meaning the توحيد of the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, the, the, the pure Islamic monotheism that all worship is directed to Allah Azza wa Jal. And there are so many numerous verses in the Quran to substantiate this concept. For example, in the verse which tells us about why we were created Allah says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal ins illa liya'budun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know that our divine purpose of why we were created was to worship him and him alone. This ahabati fillah is tawheed al uluhiya Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا I have not created mankind and jinn except, except why? For the purpose of worshiping me. So we see that there, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Except for the purpose of worshipping me, worshipping me illustrates that our divine purpose is of, of why we were created is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This worshipping of Allah wa ta'ala, whether that be through supplication, hajj, umrah, uh, paying your zakat, sadaqah, lillah, whatever the case may be, that those are acts of ibadah directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, and that is Tawheed al uluhiyah That is Tawheed al ibadah Those are just some of the names that the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah throughout history have used as terminologies to refer to this concept of monotheism. Likewise, Allah Azza wa Jal says, Fikitab al Kirim would let us know <clears throat> that although the sh uh, Sharia has changed from nation to nation that each prophet was given the same command and that was to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and avoid false deities you know false idols and false worship and worshiping other than other than Allah azza wa jal qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasulan in na'budu Allah which Tanibu Tagub. And we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things worshiped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there we see Habit Billah that Allah Azza wa Jal commanded all the Prophets alayhim after salatu wa salam with the same message, the same Usul or foundation. The same Tawheed. And that is to worship Allah alone and avoid associating any partners with Him. So it's imperative that we have this understanding and that we have a complete understanding of Tawheed. The categories of Tawheed, meaning Tawheed. The Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawheed. Al-Uluhiya. Meaning that all the worship belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> and Tawheed. Al-Asma'i wa Sifat. That the Tawheed or the, the monotheism which is showing uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine names and attributes. That He has unique divine names and attributes that we supplicate to Him by. And they are unique attributes to him.
تبارك وتعالى as Allah سبحانه وتعالى says وليس ليس كمثل لي شيء وهو سميع وهو سميع البصير Allah سبحانه وتعالى says there is nothing that is like him and he is al sami al basir he is the all hearing uh, the all hearing and the all seeing we ask allah azza wa jalla the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from kulli su'a makru bless us with a class with the battle of sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam